Hi, Jan, good morning. How are you? Good morning, how are you? Great to see you. How are you from you? Germany? Uh, very, Two, nine, not very, six. very long. Very yes, ma'am. <laughs> Through Dallas and then here. <laughs> how are your faces doing in Germany? They're nice. They're nice. Yeah, they're waiting. Take a seat, I'll see you shortly, right? Yeah, Wonderful. You excited yeah. for your surgery? Very excited. Hello, good morning, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. Dr. Glanik, pleasure you. meeting you. How was your travel from Portugal? Yeah, we went to Canada. Yes. We around to stay there for 15 days. Uh -huh. okay. so Excited to pay surgery. Yeah. Yes, take a seat. I'll see you soon, all right? Thank you. Hey, Doc, how are you? Oh, hey, I'm doing good. Good to see you. How are you? Hi, Dr. How was your trip from California? Pretty tiring, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got here at 5 in the morning, and oh, really? we couldn't check in until 3 p.m. But uh, of course, they let us check in early. We were All of you are landing on time here. So but this is gonna, I feel like this is going to be worth it, though. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Excited for the surgery? Excited, I'll yeah. see you guys yeah. Thank Thank you. As usual, I show you all every day. Today, uh, yesterday night, I just landed after teaching abroad, and patients have landed one by one today for surgery, uh, right from Germany, Portugal, Italy, um, Brazil, California. And here's this young man. I'm now going to check his vision. So he's been given up on. Nobody has even measured his cone, assuming that he's blind with his high, extremely high regular cornea with over eight diopters regular astigmatism with teraconus. And doctors, I've just done his refraction, decided a cycloplegic refraction. So he's actually even more distorted because he's dilated at this time, but I'm still seeing how much he can read. He was left at 2400 uncorrected and corrected. Go. Let's see. D, Z, D, V. K. Wow. Pushing you. R H K S D. Omar, make my day. <laughs> uh, S V H O Z. Wow. <laughs> the... Second last again. Come on. Okay. Second to last. Uh huh. C. Wow. Doctors from 2400 given up without correction. And with correction, he's reading 2040. Come on. Let's see. Perfect vision. Almost perfect. Like a 10. 9, 10. Doctor, do you get that? This is what I call my gold test or my perception test or my integrity test. Is it even worth doing surgery on someone who's not 2020? Such advanced catacombs. The answer is yes. Because I've been able to manually refract him down to 2030 minus. And at 2060, he's calling it 10 times better than what he sees. So that's important. You get me better. This is a perception test or integrity test. Just because you have flown to me doesn't mean I will do surgery. But this tells me, yes, it's worth proceeding. Doctor, quick your history, uh, or quick your history, briefly, for doctors who are watching. So basically, uh, I uh, was looking for a doctor who could help me for about a year. And looking for a doctor to help him and it's been a year struggle where he hasn't been able to see real well and we went to doctors in Los Angeles California and everyone just referred him to cross-linking no one was trying to provide any type of corrective surgery trying to assist him and the prescription they would give him was too strong it wasn't correct for his eyes and he would actually see worse so he would research Dr. Gulani and it's actually a blessing that we're here today where Dr. Galani is able to help him because this is the first time I've ever heard him say he can see clearly. Thank you. I'm here, uh, yeah, I searched here a lot. I searched for doctors to try to help me because I went to several doctors in Germany, in Italy, in Portugal, even in Brazil, and I couldn't find uh, actually a real solution for my case. I'm all done with the refraction. So doctor, can you read the smallest line there? Yeah. There we go. R A C S Z. You see the German accent. <laughs> Smallest again. S V H Z C Z. Lovely. Come on. Uh, A C A. Lovely answer. And doctors, this is a very wonderful plastic surgeon from Germany. I'm proceeding with his surgery tomorrow, and I'm trying to challenge his very high and irregular astigmatism that he has in both eyes, and he's come out very consistent. He's one and five no one super answer right there so there we are and give me the smallest line now doc even though i know it's difficult with your amblyopia oh, yeah. come on k o r d h and doc because he's dilated at this point so you can imagine the visual quality that i'm stressing him from his irregular cornea come on m b d 
Okay. So Primo, come on, pushing you. He's never at the flying. You're pushing me. Oh. Yes. O N L K D. Doctor, you did it for me. Thank oh, you. Goodness. The doctor, Primo. even with his dilated eyes and with prior history of amblyopia due to high regular astigmatism, he's reading close to 2020. That's how hard I want you to refract these patients. Even though we have all the technologies in the world, you can see here, including the Oculus Penacam AXL wave, which is showing these impurities in the eye, I still manually refract them. Doctor, your brief history for doctors who are visiting. As you know, I've just come back after teaching all over the world. I've uh, just landed yesterday night, and here we are. Your brief history. Hi, my name is Dr. Niklas Emanuel. I'm coming from Germany. Uh, I'm a plastic surgeon, and uh, I've been following uh, Dr. Gunan for many, many years because I have a, a very high regular astigmatism and uh, myopia and uh, four pingregulas. So the, my eyes are getting red all the time. Uh, especially after long operations, long surgeries. Um, all doctors have, have been there until now are uh, pushing me away. They say to me that nothing that can be done, uh, you're not a candidate for the thing regular. And so uh, I'm very excited to be here today, uh, despite all the hurdles and the uh, COVID time. Oh, yeah, that's a, that was a big problem. But I'm here now, I'm very excited. I'm um, looking forward to Get this operation and to be uh, at the game. And like all my patients, uh, Doc, you also read my textbook. I read the good textbook. Very, <laughs> very, very nice. Very well, well informed, how about <laughs> say, and very well informed. Like all our patients, Doc, because I do this, Doc, impromptu for all patients, as you know, as you landed now, the next room is patient from Portugal, same thing. The, all of you have done extensive research, I've followed for years. And it's my pride to share this with other doctors that they must get involved and not say no to you. It's just how to design around your work. So doctors, I'm planning a laser plastique surgery and then I'm planning my nose stitch amniotic surgery for a doctor to surface and get him free and back into his plastic surgery, which is his uh, profession and passion. And then travel back to Germany with that within two days, right? That's it. Doctor, I'll see you soon. It's working. Okay. Thank you very much.